I know what you're thinking, Pete. A while back, I made a video about this manga called Takabe's Original Sin. I read the first chapter because there was a nice disclaimer that incentivized me to read it because I love disturbing. Spoiler alert. So I read it, and to summarize the first chapter, it's about a girl who's poor, living the worst life. She gets bullied by a white girl, and something bad happens, and she kills wow. herself. Hold it! What the f Oh wait, <laughs> before I preface that, she meets an alien before she wow. kills herself. This alien is super happy, and he's a stupid octopus, and, you know, he does things, and, you know, it leads to her wow. kill herself. And then he has, like, a time travel, he has, like, a bunch of gadgets where he gets to turn back time, so... There's our storyline. But ignoring all that, this song is very popular in Japan. Which, uh, why is it popular in Japan? Uh, because Japan's a wow. f***ed up place filled with degenerates. And you already know that. That's why you're here. That's why you're here on this journey. So this manga is written by Tizen5. And <laughs> he's commenting. I'm going to wait for your next works. Good job. Um, <laughs> your manga is quite interesting. <laughs> I can see you have a bright future. <laughs> we will watch your career with great interest. <laughs> Bagger Blink decided at six in the morning, he woke up, he was like, hmm, you know what the world needs? Ah, I need to leave a comment for Tizen5 telling him that he is a bright future. <laughs> okay, I don't want to make fun of these people because, you know, maybe, maybe Tizen5 does have a mouth. Maybe he is active. Maybe he reads this stuff. Who knows? I mean, I'd like some comments like that telling me that I have a bright future. That'd be nice to have. So it's on Manga Plus, all the chapters for free. Uh, I did read volume one. I'm gonna just summarize. Three, two, one, go. So anyway, chapter one to you in 2016. Wait, that's the that's the name of the chapter? What is this, Attack on Titan, bro? I feel like something significant happened in 2016. So anyway, chapter one, I, I made a video about chapter one. You can watch that, Dukes. Uh, chapter two, I believe it was mostly about this blonde girl who's a bitch, and it's just about her school life. Uh, yeah, so she gets bullied. Uh, why does she get bullied? Because she doesn't pay her wow. taxes. Stupid poor girl, not paying her taxes, not paying her fair share. What are the others gonna think, huh? Welfare ass bitch. <laughs> It's such a random thing. Why is she talking about taxes? You're nine. Why do you know about this? Who talks about taxes? She's a bitch, but she's a bitch be because her family sucks. Apparently, her dad is sleeping with Shizuka's mom. We also have this glasses boy who is very nice, who probably has a crush with our main girl. Yes, so blonde girl's dad is sleeping with this girl's mom. That's the lore. Oh, and there's a nice dog. Blonde girl has like a plan to get back on poor girl. And by doing that, she wanted to like basically get bit by the dog. But Chappie's a good boy. He baby would never hurt anybody except when she's defending. And so she bites her because Chappie bit her. They had to put Chappie down and that's wow. f***ed up, you know? And as you're reading this, you kind of start to realize Japan's a pretty f***ed wow. up place, you know? Why would anyone want to live here? <laughs> I don't know where her dad is. Her dad's still gone. Poor girl gets depressed, doesn't want to eat anything. Even though Takobi, or that's his name, Takobi? Yeah, Takobi is trying his best to like, you know, make her happy. Uh, Takobi has like a plan to be like, oh yeah, we gotta like get these two back together. You know, he's a little shipping turd. So anyway, we get to learn more about our blonde girl's uh, backstory. Her dad is unfaithful. Her mom's a pushover. They're fighting again. Yeah, they're fighting. So Takabi sees this and he's like, no, don't do it. You gotta do it. And then she's like, give me back my daddy. Blah, blah, blah. And then Takabi's like, I will save you, P, with the power of my magical camera that turns back time. And no, I beat the shit out of her. He just beats the shit out of her. Yeah, no, she wow. dies. So yeah, um, it's pretty brutal, actually, now that you think about it. She must have like no skull or something because she instantly died. I don't think Takabi is that strong. So this is a bit of a stretch, but we're just going to accept it because we need girls to die. And then Shizuka's like, oh my God, you're so amazing. You killed her. I am so happy because she's a little wow. fucked up in the head. <laughs> yeah, it's just like magic. A little girl's dead and we can't turn back time. And now she's happy. She's smiling. This is where all the interesting part of the manga comes in. It's like Takabi's starting to realize that people are happy when they see other people die. And so he's going to become a little serial killer. And title card, Takabi's original sin. This is awesome. Obviously, we can't have a little girl lying dead and dead. So Glasses Boy catches them. And he's like, oh my God, where have you been? I've been worried sick. And oh my, and it's like, oh, is that blonde girl? He's like, yeah, it's blonde girl. He's like, what? Wait a minute takes my glasses off so I can't see. <laughs> it's 
someone is dead. And why the hell are you talking like that? Is this a joke to you? I do. And I'm tired of pretending it's not. He's a simp for a, like a dirty ass homeless girl. And so all he has, she has to do is touch his hands and he's like, oh my God, let's cover up your crimes. <laughs> what a fucking simp. <laughs> You're all I have, Ozma Kun. Save me. Ah! I'll give him some credit because it's a child and children are stupid. So I'll buy that. Takabi has like this gadget that creates like a coffin where he, they put the dead body in there and then they like preserve it basically. So I don't even think she'll decompose. And then Takabi decides to be... Uh, Marina, he takes her place because, well, they can't turn back time. So, Takabe's sin is that he murdered a blonde girl. So he goes back to her house and gets them abused. Jeez, how is Takabe gonna get out of this situation? Dad's a fucking asshole. Mom just doesn't want to do anything. You know, mom should just call the cops at this point because the dad is abusive. Dad is beating up her daughter, his wife, sleeping with other women. He's not faithful. Like, this is, they might have, she just, 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 just divorced this man. So they want to find dog. They want to find Chappie. Okay. <laughs> What's divorce meditation, P? Oh, they're talking about divorce? Wait, no, they don't mention divorce. Maybe they mentioned in the previous chapter. It's been a while since I read those five chapters. I'm just summarizing it. So we can't have Takabi continue to like be Marina forever. We have to, <laughs> I'm just saying it. We got to stage Marina's death. Might be very easy because we have an abusive dad, so let's have the dad beat up the girl. I haven't actually read the manga, so I don't know if they actually go through it, so I'm just speculating, like, potential plot lines they could do. Because the problem right now is that we killed this girl, we have our alien friend taking over this girl, but we can't do that forever. So, we need to stage the blonde girl's death somehow. Oh, who's this? You're Ozma Kun's brother, P? P? Yeah, I am. June. Oh, wait, come on. You can't be serious that Glasses Boy also has abusive parents. Dude, they're all fucked up. <laughs> Doesn't even need that stupid part-time job. Instead, he goes and worries Lyon like this, making all this fuss just to buy that stupid ring and his own money. Why can't he just stay home and study instead? It's him that Monik sticks the most out of anyway. Uh, Asuma Kun, you could just take it. Huh? I'm sure he'd just quit his job in shock. No, that won't work. Also, that's death. I don't care, bro. I already killed a white girl. All right, so we're getting this guy's backstory, I guess. He's a uh, glasses boy. Is, has a brother who is literally perfect, and he's jealous. He probably has an inferiority complex. Get the feeling that you can do it, Asuma. Is he going to kill his brother? <laughs> he goes worries mom because he has a part-time job. He buys the ring with his own money. Wait, wait. Why are you mad, bro? Wait a minute, I, wait, he's mad because his brother doesn't want to rely on his mother's money and decides to like work himself to make his own money to buy his own things? Why can't he just stay home and study instead? Oh, I see, I see. Okay, I get what's going on here. So our brother character is, he's genius. I guess the mom also pushes this guy to be like the perfect model student instead of the brother, even though the brother is like, he could easily do it. He decides not to, he decides to dick around. What the fuck, dude, he's like, he's not even an asshole though. I think he just, he's just jealous. <laughs> he's a nice brother. He can have anything he wants. Yeah, just because you can have anything you want doesn't mean he doesn't want that though. Like. My guy wants to, like, support himself with his own money. He doesn't want to rely on his parents. The fuck? <laughs> ah, forgot my phone. Hey! Who opened my window? Oh my god, he almost died. But he's fine. <laughs> Imagine if another child died. <laughs> Imagine if he just died right here. No wonder the manga ended in, like, two volumes. Every character just dies. Okay, so here's some more backstory. Ah! So I was right. The brother is a genius. And this guy is, like, having, like, an inferiority complex. He's not good enough. So because he's not good enough, he gets punished. And he's jealous of his brother. Even though his brother's like a perfectly nice guy and he, he just feels like he doesn't deserve it. You know, he gets some slice of life moments of, you know, Takabe's being nice to Shizuka and everyone's like, what the fuck is this is a complete 180? Pretty funny. Dude, they're like friends. What the fuck is this wholesomeness going on right now? Everything's wholesome. Oh, wait a minute. That's not good. God damn, how do you live like this? How are you not divorced yet? It's great how sure you've been lately, Marina. But then your mama keeps nagging. It's great that you're so much happier now that I beat your ass, Marina. Oh, yeah. Thanks, Dad. Would you like to come live at Papa's place instead? 
Oh, what? So they are divorced. I think they are. Wait, they're going to get divorced. I think that's what is going on. I'm going to go to Papa's place. Let's go to Papa's place. Now the mom's going to beat the shit out of Marina Chan. Yay. I'm so happy. Papa isn't coming home tonight because I killed him. Oh, Mama, what is it, P? Your speech. Oh, that's right, P. I need to be more careful, P. After all, I'm living on my own. <laughs> wow, why? You're a bitch. Fuck you. These parents are the worst. How the fuck did they meet each other, fall in love, and end up having a child just so they can become awful people? What the f The way you're talking is so unladylike. Can't you fix it? The way you're slapping is unladylike. Can't you fucking go away? I I'm sorry, P. <laughs> Mama? Mari-chan. You understand, don't you? I'm gonna beat the shit out of you until you get it. I won't do it anymore. Mari-chan, you've changed. You used to be submissive and sad, and now you're happy. I'll become the marina from before. No, everything about you is just different. Even if that man can't tell, I can. This child isn't Mari-chan. Please, please give Marina back. Mari-chan, I'm so sorry. I wasn't a very good mama, was I? But I love you so much, so please. Look, there's a happy family. What happened? The dad is a hoe. Marina-chan, I'm so sorry for killing you. That's a cramped-ass room. That's a lot of stuff. She's a weeb? <laughs> Uh-oh. That's no good. All right, so anyway, uh, your friend is dead. I I've been thinking a lot about these things, P. I want to talk with both of you about what we should do. It's too late for that. Her body was found. What's the point of talking about those things now, huh? You ink-brained idiot, you stupid fucking octopus. Go back home to your fucking planet. This is a yandere. In, this is a yandere in training. About to become one. Meanwhile, our simp over here just says, okay, yes, man. Yes, queen. Yes, queen, I'll do it. I, I, I will suck your toes for a morsel of your saliva. <laughs> we'll keep the truth a secret and go to Tokyo. After all... You know, kuzi son still thinks of me as like this Chad and I gotta keep acting like Chad. Hello? You up this late studying? J Junior! Huh. Everything's okay with that case? You know, he's just being a concerned brother, you know? Why are you jealous? He's insecure because he's a loser. He's a loser and his brother is awesome. He's not as cool as his brother. But you gotta realize your mom's just a bitch. Everybody's mom in this manga is a bitch. Thinking of alibis. As a six-year-old child, you're thinking about alibis. <laughs> Out of, okay. Playing too much Phoenix Wright. Got you. Meanwhile, you're slacking in your grades, bub dude. You're getting your... Oh, she gave him pancakes. Mom, I have something to tell you. I'm done with you. What? Maybe this was impossible for you. But not studying every day and then getting this abysmal score just to get my attention? That's far too childish, don't you think? Ma'am, his classmate just died. What the fuck? What is wrong with you? So we can stop here. I've decided to stop trying as well. You can eat pancakes every day. I don't care what score you get. Do as you please. Wait, mom, I still... Well then, go on. <laughs> what the f... You know what? I think it's coming from his perspective, but I think she means well. I genuinely think the mom means well. I think the mom realizes that he's been she's been pushing this guy so hard that... Okay, maybe he's not as good as his brother, but that's okay. I'll still love him the same. But she goes about it the wrong way. And I also think this kid doesn't have a dad either, so... Yeah, he said, I'm done with you. Maybe it was impossible. Oh, yeah, I and mean, you're far too child. Okay, yeah, she's just... No, you know what? She's just a fucking bitch. <laughs> Are you okay? Yeah. The police called again earlier. I have to go to the police station or something again during summer vacation. I see. That's okay. But I can't do that because that's when I'm going to get chappy and it'll be bad if I get caught. So if you could, sure, you can ask me anything. I'll show you that I can fix all of this. I'll, I'll do anything to help you, Kuzei-san. Simp. Thank you, Azuma-kun. Then can you take this and turn yourself in for me? This girl is evil. You know, I sympathize with her, but man, she's a bitch. All these characters suck. They're all children. They're all assholes. Why doesn't Takabi turn himself in? You got a 95. That's okay. That's pretty good, dude. Listen, sir, you missed like one problem. Who cares? Can't you do better? I've been raising you the same way. What do you mean can't you do better? He got a 95, lady. Fucking A. You said that you were having a hard time seeing, didn't you? This is for me? 
Well, your brother never had to use them. Thanks, because <laughs> your mother's eyesight is perfect. Why aren't you fucking perfect? Why do you have not 2020 vision? Junior went off the rails. He started working part-time jobs despite mom's disapproval. He started getting a girlfriend. He started like living life and, and he's still perfect. This is my chance. My brother's going to end up joining a gang and mom will entrust her dependable second son with her dreams as the new heir of the Azuma Clinic. I was wrong. It made him even more likable. He became such a chad. Of course his grades wouldn't fall over something so small. His existence continued to be the center of mom's attention and I was just diligent. Diligent and stupid. I already knew. Only Junya inherited everything. I got the recessive genes. He got the dominant genes. I got gla I have to wear glasses. I've noticed these people don't have dads. <laughs> if you or they have like abusive dads. Is that like the common trend in this manga that you need a mom and a dad to have a happy life? Oh, okay, so this is how he met her. Did he fall in love with her because she had double eyelids? You don't have monolids. I like you because you have double eyelids. You're not as Asian as you look, lady. Hey you, human dirtbag! How dare you come to school without a care in the world? Do you like her because he looks like your mom? Oh, yeah, I mean, that's, I guess that's fair. Poor kids, man. We gotta stop treating our kids like they're items. They're not our slaves. We gotta love them like they're little people. Oh man, he got two hands. Double hand holding. Next thing she knows, he's gonna give him a kiss on the cheek. He's gonna explode. I don't have anyone else but you now, Yasma Kun. Dude, she's manipulative as fuck. Oh no. Oh, she did kill. Oh my god. I knew it. She's a manipulative bitch. Maybe Marina had a maybe Marina was right after all. Maybe the point of this manga is that we should bully the poor children. This guy is gonna fucking die. He's gonna go to jail because he got kissed on the cheek. Objection! Where are you off to this early? Junya. Alright, Junya, you need to save the day, man. You need to save your disturbed, demented, mentally damaged brother. All right, how are they gonna do this? Are they gonna, are they gonna bury it? Uh oh, fuck! You killed her, didn't you? How the fuck do you know? Oh, okay, <laughs> this is all in his imagination. You okay, buddy? This is the best brother ever, and he hates him because he's perfect. God, whatever it is, I'm here to listen. You can blame it all on me. You won't understand. You're talented. You've got a great personality. You're the ultimate Chad. Everybody loves you, but me? I'm a fucking virgin, bro. I have a loser sip virgin who spends his life on Twitch chatting it up, sending Pepe memes. I told you, you have me. Didn't you hear me earlier? I said that you could talk to me about anything. I'm a bro, man. I might be a Chad, and you might be a virgin, but if you spend more time with me, maybe some of my Chadness will come to you. It'll leech onto you, my dude. Because you're my little brother, man. Naoki, look. No one's good at everything. Did you know that I suck at Monster Hunter? Seriously? <laughs> no one is good at everything. Did you know I suck at this specific video game? But I'm great at everything else. Elden Ring? Fuck yeah, I killed Millennia in like two tr in like one try. Did you know that I'm actually let me solo her? What I'm saying is that mom's diligent and hardworking. Just like you. Yes, Junya, save our boy from making the biggest mistake of his life. Honey Chen, there's something I want to tell you. There's something I have to tell you. Sure. Did you hear? No, he snatched on himself! What do we do now, P? Maybe we should also just tell the truth. Huh? What are you saying? Summer vacation starts today. We're going to Tokyo. They went to Tokyo to find her dad's place so they can find Chappie. Ah, so this is Papa's place. I can see him. I can finally meet him again. I can see Chappie and my dad again. What? Shizuka. Oh my God. This, this is awkward. Uh, hmm. I'm not really sure. You know, I, I mean, you might have another family, but you can't ignore your first daughter. Like, what the fuck? The fuck, dude? That's fucked up. That's really fucked up. You can just be like, oh, I don't know what this fucking bitch is. Except, yeah, that's fucked up. What the fuck? I think those kids might have eaten Chappie. Yeah, 
We gotta get them out of their stomachs. Oh my god, is she gonna kill her dad's half sisters? Half siblings? Half siblings? Your gadget that can catch humans and check what there's in their stomachs? Give it to me. What, what do you mean, P? There's no, there's no gadget like that. What? Seriously? Fine, then I'll think of something. Ow! That hurt, P. You need to stop, P. Ugh, this could work. We can use it to sneak in at night unnoticed. Shizuka-chan, please, listen. Shizuka-chan, let's just go home. The only thing keeping her sanity together was her dog. Dog's dead. The only thing left for her is a nice noose around her neck, unfortunately. Oh, I see. So you won't save me anymore either, Takopi. You're abandoning me too, huh? Oh, okay, so this is his backstory. I've seen these eyes somewhere before. Ah! Oh my god, she... No! She's evil! She's evil! I'm a happy end. Okay. Oh, so he met her first. The year is 2022. The one Takobi meets is Marina in high school. What? Damn, this girl is bad. And not in the sexual way, but like, ah, oh, I'm such a badass. Creeps. Welcome home, Mary Chan. Ah, yes, COVID. <laughs> Special variant transmitted through iguanas. Oh my God, the tenth vaccine. Is it effective? <laughs> Ten vaccines for COVID. That's funny. <laughs> Sorry. We oh my fucking God, what the fuck? You can't even take care of the household. This is exactly why I can't get a man. Lady, you can't get a man because you're an alcoholic bitch who don't want to take care of your children. I want to become a happy mother. I want to, I'll have a happy baby and raise them happily too. Oh, that's nice. So this is how humans practice raising their young, P. Damn, she beat the shit out of them. <laughs> Let us go and search for a good papa today. <laughs> Look, I don't need you meddling. Kyoto san Uh, we start dating. And, um, not long after... Oh my! Really, Mari-chan? You should have told me sooner! I didn't know you had grandchildren! Oh! Lady, you don't get to act like this! You beat up your daughter! What the fuck? Fuck you! So he, she's dating a glasses boy. That's pretty cool. Oh! Oh, it's Shizuka! What is it? So from what I'm understanding, if we base this on timelines, 2022 is the first timeline. Okay, it's the original timeline. It's the timeline that Takabi was in. And then he did something to go back to the beta timeline, which is when he met Shizuka as a child. But he doesn't remember because something must have happened. Okay, so I think I understand there are two timelines. Right now, that last chapter was alpha timeline. Okay. Oh. Oh, that sucks. That sucks. Fuck, that sucks. And then that broke her. Oh, what the fuck? Holy shit. What? Yeah, I don't have a boyfriend. You don't have a boyfriend? I'm about to kill you ass. Nope. I'm going to kill my mom instead. Mom, don't leave me alone. Raina chan what do you want? I just have to kill her, right, Pete? Huh? If I kill Shizuka Kuze during the fourth grade, then you'll be happy, right, Pete? That should be easy with the headache happy clock, Pete. Bye-bye. <laughs> Look at this panel. This girl just killed her mom, and this is a Yotsuba Kami panel right here. Even the mom looks like she's like, what the fuck just happened? <laughs> and that's why I need to use this big happy clock to go back to the fourth grade and kill Shizuka Kuze P. I understand. If that is your answer, then I shall erase all of your memories and revert you to the happy state you were born into. Okay, I'm confused. Whatever, whatever. <laughs> this is just not, this is just so not important to me. This is more important. How could I have forgotten? I need to kill Jizuka Kuze. But you already killed Marina Chen. This is a pun pun panel. <laughs> I need to kill Shizuka Kuze. I need to crush the life out of her until there's nothing left. I remember now. Shizuka Kuze is evil. I have to kill her. Wait, now we got. That is a uh, leap in logic, my dude. <laughs> it got dark really fast. Oh. What are you doing here, you stupid ink brain? Ozma Kun. <gasps> That's right. I just need to kill Ozma Kun. <laughs> ah, yes. <laughs> Don't get it at all, P. She's a bad kid, so why is she also good? Because humans are complicated, Taco B. Like, Shizuka isn't inherently evil. She just had a bad hand in life, okay? Everyone's a fucked up person inside because of their upbringings. I guess that's what this manga is trying to say. I had fun playing with both of you. 
that was the first time in my life that I was actually excited about going to school because we were friends. You're a happy-go-lucky idiot and a piece of trash, but you're also kind. I came here to say thank you. The thing on your eye? Different from before, P? These were a gift. Junior gave them to me. Using his last paycheck. He got fired. Junior might not be able to go to the university. Osmakun. If you ever meet another me, there's something I want you to say to him. Me? Tell him to try fighting with his brother for once. Bye-bye, Dagobi. Bye-bye, Osmakun. And Ozma ended up going to jail for a crime he did not commit. His mom ended up committing suicide. His brother lost his job and became homeless. And his dad... Well, his dad got COVID. Oh my god. Did Shizuka just kidnap these girls? How did she pull that off? What? We finally meet again, P. Shizuka-chan. Damn, she's like dead in that eye. She has no emotions at this point. Oh boy, everybody. We climaxing now, baby. Shizuka-chan. Move. I'm going to the shelter to look for my chappy. The people there, I need to check their stomachs too. Jesus. I'm not moving. Ah! <laughs> Don't step on him with your fresh kicks. So what should I have done then? When my own papa looked at me like he didn't even know me, what should I have done? When I found out that he's not only my papa anymore, what should I have done? When I got told that I couldn't ride the ferry all alone, what should I have done? Ow! I don't have any grown-ups. What should I have done when my mama stopped coming home then? What should I have done when my notebooks disappeared? I get told I stink, but where do I stink anyway? Mama never taught me any of this, so tell me! What should I do when I can no longer see my dad anytime I want? What do I do when no one comes for me anymore on parents' day? Or when the neighbors get angry and complain about how loud Chappy is? They tell me to call someone from home, but it's always empty, so what do I do? So tell me, who should I talk to about these things when nobody even cared to look out for me? Tell me everything all of it all of this tell me then what was i supposed to do well i guess you could subscribe to my youtube channel jeez i don't know lady i, I don't know b excuse me she's a good chat i'm sorry p this stuff's too hard for me so i, I don't know p are you kidding you think that's an answer ow so you're useless then don't touch me this is the happy handshake, B. B? What even is that? Ah! Shizuka-chan! I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Shizuka-chan. I'm sorry I can't do anything for you, P. Yet I keep trying to do things, so I'm sorry, P. I didn't understand anything you felt at all. I... I never really listened to you, and I'm sorry, P. I'm sorry I didn't try to understand anything, P. Shizuka-chan, I'm sorry I've left you all alone, P. Shut up. Shut, shut up. Shizuka-chan, you can say that all you want, but Papa will never come back, and Mama doesn't love me anymore. And Chappie isn't coming back either. Everything's just hopeless now. I hear you, Shizuka-chan. <laughs> Shizuka-chan, <laughs> I'm so sorry, Shizuka- Aw, that's what she needed, a little octopus gremlin hugging her face. You're still going to jail, though, by the way. <laughs> I mean, we're not denying that. There's one thing that I can't do for you because I'm me, P. Wait. We deus exing here, boys? Deus ex? Aw, oh, shit. God's coming to save the day. Let's go. Wait. Talk to me. If I lose you too, I... Shizuka-chan. I will make you smile. A great, big, happy smile. I was very happy to have spent my days with you, P. But it's not worth it if you can't smile, P. I can't smile. I'll smile, so please. In the solar system, on the third planet called Earth, to you, my precious person, so that you may have what you truly wish for. Shizuka-chan, thank you for playing with me. Thank you for being nice to me. Thank you for giving me your bread back then. Thank you, Shizuka-chan. Goodbye. Wait! Deus Ex, boys, we Deus Ex Makima. Taco B's original sin. To all of you in 2016. Good morning, Shizuka-chan. You got your dog. You keep getting bullied. 
Good morning, Parasite! You scumball tax evader! Don't you feel any shame not paying your fucking taxes? Ha ha ha! How does it feel like to be poor and I have to pay taxes to sustain your life? What? Ozma, could you have a PS4 in 2016? Naoki, come on, let's go! You have friends now, you're a Chad because you have a PS4. Ah, uh, coming! I've had enough with you! Parasite because of you my mama cries every day and papa always gets angry. It's all your fault Give me back my family. What is that? I don't know. It's just a doodle. So cringe It doesn't do anything except talk because talking brings happiness P in the solar system on the third planet called earth to all of you in 2016 uh, America kind of fucked up <laughs> Oh, that's kind of sad. There are so many things I can't do for you your families who have already drifted apart. Oh, okay. So this is like talking to the audience. Your mamas who will no longer look at you and your papas who are no longer only yours. Oh God, that's kind of dark. I can't do anything for you, but even so, to you, 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 and to all of you who are no longer alone, may you all grow up just fine. I'm sure you will. Thank you and bye-bye. Wait, what? Hold on, hold on, I gotta go back. And to all of you who are no longer alone, may you all grow up just fine. I'm sure you will. But anyone else that's still alone, uh, go fuck yourself, I hope you die. You might as well just end it. <laughs> Sakopi, you can't say things like that. Jeez, man, what did you even learn? What was your arc? You went from like, I'm a happy-go-lucky alien that's completely ignorant and doesn't listen to people to, oh, I'll listen to your problems. Oh my god, your problems are crazy. I'm just gonna go away now. I hope you sort your shit out. Uh, all these characters, their solution to all their problems trickles down to suicide. Like, what? Well, except for the glasses boy. Hi, Chappie's alive. That's nice. Oh. Hey, they're friends. That's nice. So, Basically, the moral of the story is, if you have a fucked up family, if your mom beats you, and your dad's never around, don't be an asshole. <laughs> Maybe you'll find someone you relate to. I think the whole point of this manga is that people are afraid of talking about their problems. Like, so many of these characters keep their problems to themselves. I guess it's a cultural thing. Maybe it's like a it's like tatami or hone or whatever the heck it is, all that stuff is. I don't know. I'm not too well versed in Japanese culture, especially around like politeness and stuff, because I'm a dirty American. But uh, yeah, they all these characters like once they talk about their issues and actually listen to each other, they were able to like empathize with each other and find common ground and like become friends. You know, they formed a community because of how messed up their lives are in a sense. I guess, except for Asuma, he just becomes like a Chad because he has a PS4. <laughs> for that one in case, video games do solve problems. I guess the only thing that I have to say, if you're a kid in Japan and you don't pay your taxes, I hope you kill yourself. <laughs> I'm joking, please don't. Please don't, actually. If you're sick watching this right now and you're thinking about suicidal thoughts because you have abusive parents or whatever, just don't. You're gonna be fine. <laughs> I, yeah. You're just gonna be fine. Your mom's gonna beat you. Your your dad's gonna leave you. But you know what? Everything will be fine. <laughs> There's not really a real solution to this, to be quite honest. Just realize that there's probably someone out there that'll be here for you. Just not me, though, because I'm irresponsible. <laughs> like the rest of the adults in this fucking manga. All right, well, anyway, that was Takumi's Original Sin. It was a fun read. If you want to check it out, you can check it out on Manga Plus. Anyway, please subscribe if you haven't subscribed. Leave a like. If you read this manga, let me know what you think in the comments down below. And I hope you have a good day, okay? Bye, P. Uh